Hey everyone, the numbers are in for Seychelles in Panama City Beach for 2000, uh, February 2023. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Um, a lot of people asking us, where's the market going? What's the market doing? Where are prices headed? Um, for the last eight to 10 years in the condo market, it's it's been somewhat simple, uh, but there's so many different things happening now. In this video, I kind of want to show you one trend specifically we're watching that could tell us where prices may be headed. Um, Overall, in the Gulf Front condo market, we're at about 5.85 months of inventory. That's a little better than January, which was at 7.25. Remember, four to five months is about a balanced market in real estate. It doesn't mean we're, we're not buyer's market. We're not seller's market. We're pretty neutral. Right now, we're about neutral in the market. Um, we've had zero sales in Seychelles so far this year, but I'm a little encouraged. Um, we do have five units that are under contract. We're working on this one uh, that closes... Uh, on the 13th, unit for 1509. Um, we have one, two, three of the one bedrooms are under contract. These pending, these prices are the asking prices. These do not represent the closed price. Uh, so we'll have a good update for you at the beginning of next month when I do a first quarter wrap up for you. Um, one thing that is really important to understand about where prices may be headed. Um, about this time every year, seasonally, this happens almost every year in our market. We have the fewest amount of units for sale uh, about sometime early in the year and month over month over month until later in the season, we have more units for sale. So think about that um, very simplistically. If we have more units month over month over month coming up for sale, buyers have more choices, sellers have more competition. Uh, if the demand doesn't keep up with that pace of units coming for sale, the market slows down and eventually, if, it, if it's extreme enough, you have pressure on pricing to come down a little bit. So and let me show you this from a number standpoint. March of 2021, we were at 0.59 months of inventory. And just follow this. Moved up, moved up, moved up, moved up, moved up, moved up. By September, we were at 3.48 months of inventory. We were almost five times slower, over five times slower than we were just a few months earlier. Instead of taking about a half a month to sell something, it was taking about 3.48 months to sell something. Still a pretty good seller's market at that number. Let's look at the next year. March, 1.09 up to 1.82, all the way by the time we get to July, 7.46 months of inventory. Now think about this. We're 5.85 months of inventory. When we were at a half a month to a month to a month and a half, two months, that was still such an intense seller's market. People, sellers weren't really panicking too much because you just heard stories day after day after day of multiple offers and things selling very quickly. Well, we're at 5.8 months right now, meaning it's taking longer to sell something, which is back to a more normal real estate market. That's fine. But if we add supply and we add to this months of inventory number over the next few months, what's going to be happening in sellers' minds? First of all, buyers have more choices. They can be more and more patient potentially. Sellers are going to see more and more competition. And if you really want to sell something for whatever reason, you're cashing out, you're paying for kids college, you don't use the unit as much as you want, you're moving, whatever those things are, you want to get that done in a timely manner. If it starts to take us seven, eight, nine months, 10 months to sell a condo, it puts a lot of pressure down as people make individual decisions that, hey, I really want to sell this and I want to do it sometime soon. Maybe I'm going to have to make this more appealing and drop the price. The more that happens across the board, that's where you start to see the market come down. So we're really, really watching this. Um, it'll be interesting to see what that number looks like for Seychelles next month, just because we have so many contracts pending right now. So deep dive for Seychelles at the beginning of next month. It's our first quarter wrap up as per usual. Um, I only send these updates out via email to owners in the building who have asked for it. I don't like to just randomly spam people's email, but if you do think someone would value this that you know another fellow owner, uh, please share that with them or post it to you guys' as owner's page. Um, again, we'll have a, a quarterly update out at the beginning of the year. If you have any questions on this and what it maybe means to your specific plan, um, give me a call, shoot me a text. My number is 850-527-0221. Thanks for watching.